Hey guys, welcome back to the Great Ace Attorney with Golden Knight and Stake Driven. And um, yeah. let's get right back into it. Well, um, the stories are full of Mr. Shulm's brilliant deductions, you know. But that did seem a little different somehow. A little different? Excuse me, Mr. Sholmes, could you come over here a moment? Are you having a bad day? Hmm. Ha ha ha. Pray, what can I do for you? It's about your deductions. Would you mind? Not at all. Go on. Well, to start with, there's the newspaper article. I think we had the same discussion before, but... These two men look nothing like each other! Glad someone else noticed! Ah, uh, yes, I recall our discussion earlier. And at the time, I believe I told you... ...that the man is a revolutionary. Well able to revolutionize his own appearance. Oh god, you are <laughs> killed Brand Manderville. <laughs> In fairness to Mr. Sholmes, Mr. Roylott does look more like this man than you do? Yes. That's a... that's not the point. That's a perfectly, uh, correct English sentence. And another thing, that part about him abducting the ballerina... Indeed, a truly startling revelation. At first glance, the case would appear too small to accommodate a young woman. Not just at first glance, it is too small, clearly. You'd be lucky to fit a five-year-old child into that case, even if you pushed really hard. <laughs> I don't suppose the missing ballerina is a five-year-old child, is she? Do you mean you don't know? No, the young lady is fifteen. Almost damn. No, I didn't know. How could I? Hmm. Well, if she's 15, then 10 years worth of her would be poking out from the case. <laughs> Some years ago, I read something pertinent, I believe. A troop of men consuming vinegar daily in order to promote a certain lightness in their bodies. Vinegar? Such a sour bunch, it would be surely simplicity itself to contort oneself to the confines of that small case. Oh, I think I know what he's talking about. Oh dear, you might be thinking of contortionists in the circus, Mr. Sholmes. Ugh, this whole thing is turning into a circus. And we're the monkeys. Mr. Narahato, something's occurred to me about Mr. Sholmes' deductions just now. I think his powers of observation are... magical. His eyes cut to the heart of the matter almost instantly. It's just where he directs his attention and his logic that seems a little... off. Your idea of a little may be a little off itself, Mr. Sato. It's just one or two key words in his deductions that seem to let him down. And give him up and run around and so I was So I was wondering if we might perhaps tactfully switch them for alternatives. What do you think? Hmm, switch some key words in his deductions. Yes, but very tactfully. I feel sure if we could do that... We'd unlock the true genius of Mr. Sholm's great deductions. So is this a new gimmick for the game? Precisely the thought that was going through my own head. This man is a lot of work. I can choke them. At times I wonder how anyone puts up with me. <laughs> it's not that funny, really. Ah, and you, my good fellow. Sorry? Take a moment to look at your wrists. My wrists? How did he? When did he? He's a ninja. Oh, well, where are your handcuffs? Oh my god, this is a 
This isn't Sherlock Holmes. It's my freaking D&D character, Richard Powell, who was a detective who was also a rogue, a high-level thief character. Okay. God. Huh. How, how did... I felt that they may hinder you in your ability to follow me into a dance of deduction. So this is that dance of deduction thing they were talking about. Okay. I don't believe it. And what was that other mechanic that I hate? It looks like there's two gimmicks, and I hate both of them. Well, well I don't know if I hate this one yet, because we haven't started. Mr. Sholmes, you are a marvel. Yeah, a Captain Marvel. Don't, don't compare him to someone like Captain Marvel. And don't worry, I shall restore the shackles to your wrist when we are finished. Why, is that too much of an insult for him? I'm not worried. In fact, I'd rather stay like this. So, let us Captain begin. Marvel... Sorry. Captain Marvel is OP. He thinks he's OP. True. But, like, mm. Captain Marvel's OP, and that's what makes that movie really bad. Herlock Sholmes is proud to present his logic and reasoning spectacular. Spectacular, spectacular, in the words vernacular. So exciting the audience. Course correction. Hold it, Mr. Sholmes. Hold it! So, the dubious. I don't think oh, we need to reread this, because they're. Oh, I get it, because you gotta. You're... Hmm, I'm not sure. Would you really use shears like that to cut off a beard? I doubt that's something I'll ever have to worry about. It doesn't quite sit right with me, though. It doesn't seem to be sitting right with Mr. Roylott, either. Which means, I suppose, that the deduction is wrong. Let's try to switch a key word here, Narahata-san, and see if it helps matters. Alright, but how? I think we should start by taking a long, hard look at Mr. Roylott. I wonder if it's really his beard that he intended to use those shears on. Exactly. If we do manage to find something that seems to fit the sense of Mr. Sholm's deduction better... Then what? Then I'll leave the rest in your capable hands, Narahara-san. Why am I the one to do something about this? Well, anyway, let's see if there's anything we could even use to switch around in that last sentence. What exactly was Mr. Roylock really going to use those enormous shears for? Oh. Letting you scan the hat. Uh oh. What the heck? Okay. This? <laughs> you are on the verge of using the shears to cut away the golden locks you sport. Indeed. You have identified the precise detail I was intending to expose. So why didn't you expose it yourself earlier? Such lush golden hair certainly does not fit an old man. You're not a man at all. You're a woman. And judging from the length and sheen of your hair... One still very much in her youth. Oh no! If only I had managed to cut off my hair, no one would have suspected! The question thus begged is this, why would you desire to rid yourself of these magnificent locks? Once again the answer is plain, we have clear evidence to shed light on the matter. I'm sure it needs no further clarification. 
The evidence that reveals your identity is the article about the revolutionary. Well, that was a shock. I had no idea that old man was really a young woman in disguise, did you? What? Why are you staring at me like that? Yes, it was a surprise, Naruhara-san. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Sorry? You look like you're in your element as you dance around the room deducing the facts with Mr. Scholz. I'm just doing what we agreed. I'm not having fun or anything. This is strictly business, not strictly... Yes, yes, I understand. Say no more. Not strictly co Well, anyway, let's focus on this next part of Mr. Sholm's deduction, shall we? The evidence that he's picked up doesn't quite fit the facts at all now. Okay, hang on. Wait, can I not I... see the court record? No, that's true. Given that Mr. Roylott is actually a woman... Exactly. He, or rather she, can't possibly be this merciless revolutionary. I suppose it's because the deduction as a whole has taken a different direction now. Yes. Let's switch to the evidence for something else. Something that fits the facts as we now understand them. For some reason, this woman needed to try to hide her true identity. I feel as though I've either read or heard about a young woman in a situation like that recently. Alright, I'll do my best. So is this case also a tutorial? Yep. Hmm, this is interesting. Have you found something relevant, Naruhara-san? Well, no, I... I mean, it looks like it might be interesting. I can't read a single word, I'm afraid. No, nor can I, but look at this picture. Perhaps it's about a beautiful young Russian princess, do you think? She is very pretty, isn't she? I suppose you enjoy articles like this, do you? I, I don't know. I can't make any sense of it. Ah, I'm glad you noticed this article. Ah! <laughs> Allow me to give you a short summary of its contents. Oh, thank you. He pops up everywhere, this Mr. Sholmes. It's about the disappearance of a young lady last night. Renowned prima ballerina of the Novovich Ballet disappears from Shanghai. During a performance in Shanghai, the famous dancer was reported missing. She is, of course, the talented young Nikolina Pavlova. Why are Russian names so hard to remember? It would appear the woman was in costume when she was found to be missing from her dressing room. Wearing the diamond tiara you see pictured, which is worth 20,000 rubles. Oh, how much is 20,000 rubles? I have no idea, but I'm quite sure it must be an unbelievable sum of money. Susato-san's eyes are shining like diamonds themselves. Shining like a diamond rolling with the diamond. The tiara is the property of the Novovich Ballet. It would seem the director is beside herself worried. Yes, I'm not surprised. The company is most anxious to recover both Miss Pavlova and the valuable tiara. They've requested international assistance at all ports with sailings to Great Britain. Could this be another case of a Russian fleeing his or her country? It does seem to be the Russian thing to do. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response, Mr. Navarrado. Everyone's rushing to get elsewhere. Yeah, everyone's rushing to get away from that comment. Okay. Hashtag not sorry. <laughs> Alright. Yes! The evidence that reveals your true identity is, of course, the article about the ballerina. That's right. You've hit the nail on the head. <laughs> <laughs> 
renowned prima ballerina of the Novovich Ballet disappears from Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Snap. It would appear we are finally able to address you by your true name. Yes, because your true identity is that of the Novovich Ballet's prima ballerina. Miss Nikolina Pavlova. <laughs> and what's in the case? We'll find out, won't we? Alright, Golden, uh, reckon you should probably switch to this. Yeah. Okay. Trading voices. Oh, how should I do a Russian accent? Um. Maybe do Natasha. To You're right. Yeah. My real name is Nina. I mean, Nikolina Pavlova. But please, I beg you, don't tell anyone. Old man's identity, a ballerina on the run. Solved. Alright, topic two, wrongdoing. Not kidnapping of a young ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> Now, as for my second conclusion... Ow! You are, at this very moment, on the brink of committing a most grievous crime. <laughs> and the proof of this crime? Over there. Oh yes, Miss Pavlova. Take it unawares, people have a propensity to let their eyes stray, you see. Ah! <sighs> And I assure you, the eyes speak so much more eloquently and honestly than the mouth. The answer we seek lies where the furtive glance falls. The proof of your crime sits before our very eyes, in that traveling case. This woman is the ballerina, and she's right in front of our eyes. So clearly she can't be inside that traveling case as well. No, that's right. It seems she wasn't abducted at all. In which case, what is the crime this young woman is apparently committing? I can see I'm going to have to step in and fix the Great Detective's mistake again. You seem to look pleased, Naruhara-san. <laughs> Do you like the idea of another chance to dance around with Mr. Sholmes? <clears throat> Stop it. Anyway, there must be something else here that shows what this woman is up to. Uh... Hmm... Oh, hello. Wow, look at this dazzling tiara. I've never seen anything like it. Are those real diamonds, do you think? Oh, Naruhado san, try it on! What? Me? Isn't it usually girls who wear tiaras? Wouldn't you like to try it on? Oh, no, I couldn't possibly. It's far too beautiful. Why does this tiara look familiar? I feel like I've seen it somewhere recently. Yes! No. She hasn't been glancing. Okay, she's been glancing at the tiara. The proof of your crime is surely this tiara. Ah! I believe this tiara is worn by stage dancers in the Novich Ballet, is it not? Indeed, it would appear to be identical to the tiara picture here in this very newspaper article. And if the reporting is to be believed, it's an item worth 20,000 rubles. In summary... The crime you have committed is theft. Oh no! <gasps> oh yes! Yes! You left your ballet troupe unlawfully taking their precious tiara with you. Ah. I have no one, no family, no friends. I am all alone, and I need money. But I did not steal the tiara. 
It was a present from, how do you say, an Earl of Prussia. It belongs to me. This girl is only 15 years old, and she's run away all by herself. She must have been extremely lonely. Alright, I will tell you everything. There is no point to hiding it now. Hmm, come, come now. Let us not be hasty. Poor in Treebeard. What? There remains one unsolved mystery about you. I love that show! Mystery? What do you mean? You have staunchly refused to open this traveling case of yours in our presence. It is reasonable to conclude, therefore, that there exists some reason why you wish it to remain closed. Bouncing around like a Pokemon. Is that not so, Miss Pavlova? If that's your real name. Um... My dear girl, there is no sense in playing games with me. Nothing escapes my attention. Indeed, I have a very good idea of the contents of your case, even before I laid eyes on them. Dear me. We are not well suited to a life of crime, are we? Your careless coup de l'oeil betrays you. Once again, we need only follow your foot of blood to find the answer. <laughs> He's gonna say again that it's the ballerina, and it's gonna be like, what? Yes, the reason why you refuse to open your case is written on the books on the shelf. He's completely changed tack with his deduction now, but he's still wrong. I think Mr. Sholmes is adapting his logic to the changing circumstances, don't you? Maybe, but why has he suddenly brought the bookshelf into all this? It's just a wild guess, surely. Oh, do you think so? No, what I know is. Well, it doesn't seem likely that the reason why this young woman doesn't want to open her case would have been written in a book that doesn't even belong to her. Yes, that's true, but still... Miss Pavlova certainly did cast her eyes in that direction. I noticed it myself. Okay, then there has to be another reason why she won't open her case. And it must be somewhere in the same area, if that's where her gaze was involuntarily drawn. I agree. That's the only answer. Whatever she has hidden inside that case should be revealed by following her gaze in the... In the blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Why, do the, why does that bookshelf look in, like literally exactly like the one next door? Yeah. Knocked over... God included. Lollipop, lollipop. Uh. Wait, the rules of passage. Yes! Wait, really? Yes, the reason why you refuse to open your case is written in the rules of passage, which are... Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects and pets are also strictly forbidden. Well, she got an actual cat in there. Inside that case wall, there's something forbidden from carriage on this vessel. It must be a pet. That is the real reason why you refuse to open it, thus revealing its contents. And Sholmes is gonna say it's a weapon. I... Yeah, bro. As we've seen, the trunk wobbles from time to time. But no weapon or other dangerous items would move of its own accord. Which leaves but one possibility, Miss Pavova. Inside your traveling case. Is the last is the item last listed item as forbidden listed as in the vessel's rules, vessel's of rules of passage? A pet! 
Close enough. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Looks so scared. Possession of a prohibited animal. Solved. Deduction complete. Elementary. <laughs> it's sad that we have to correct all his deductions for him, isn't it? Yeah. So clearly, you aren't who you said you were. No. I am not a Grimesby Roylock. My real name is Nikolina Pavlova. Everything you said was correct. You absconded during one of your ballet company's performances in order to escape your homeland. <laughs> Later that same night, you stole aboard this vessel. Which couldn't have been easy. The Buria is a huge steamship with a vast crew. Could she really have snuck on board without being noticed? In order to obscure your true identity, you somewhat recklessly took on the guise of an old gentleman. And you intended to sever all links with your past by severing your long hair. Now, yeah, Link to the Past is a good game. Yet to a woman, hair is no trifling matter. <coughs> My personal recommendation is to leave well alone. So, if it was just you about to cut off your own hair, who was it that let out the scream we heard from outside the cabin? That veritable tinkling of a bell? Why, none other than this young lady, naturally. More like a full set of pipes, if you ask me. I was so scared when I ran away from Shanghai. I was sure they would come looking for me. That's why I decided to... How do you say? Disgust myself? Mm, so no one would recognize me. As a result, you transform yourself into that questionable old man? I see. I put on the fur hat and... Big beer? Then, just before you came in here, I saw in the newspaper. Right on the page, there was a picture of me. I was so frightened, I couldn't stop from screaming. I knew that if I didn't change my appearances completely, they would find me. So I decided to cut all my hair as fastly as possible. I picked up the scissors in my hand and... At that precise moment, we walked in through the annoyingly unlocked cabin door. <laughs> Things happen like that sometimes, don't they? Things do indeed happen like that, from time to time. Are those two even talking about the same thing? There's just one more thing I'd like to know. What exactly do you have inside your traveling case? You are right. It is my dear friend inside. My only friend in the whole world. Please, don't tell anyone. If the captain finds out, if you say to any of the crew... Your secret is safe with us, I assure you, but in return. You must tell us as in as much detail as you can muster about the events of last night. Yes, all right. I will tell you. Well, Mr. Narahato? 
Wasn't it something, Mr. Sholm's great deduction? Or it wasn't was it certainly something, something yes. I'm just not entirely sure what. But at least Miss Pavlova has agreed to tell us what she knows. That's incredible. Indeed, she is incredible. Ah, and one more thing. Hey, just one more. That's another detective. Oh, yes? What? Observe your wrists. My... Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Your hands are cuffed again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. What? But how? True to my word, I have restored your shackles. Ah! When? And why? And how? There is still a shadow of guilt cast over you, Mr. Narahato. Oh, brother. I'm sorry to say, it can't be helped at the moment. Wait, did she do it? Ha, huh, can't it, Shut really? Up, I mean. Anyway, let's listen to what Miss Pavlova has to say. I can't go on not knowing. I have to find out what the speckled band that Kazuma-sama wrote about in his diary really was! Mm-hmm, okay. Did you know that someone was killed in the cabin next door to this one last night? One of the crewmen told me this morning when I was eating breakfast. The man who died, he was a friend of mine. Oh? That's why we're trying to find out what happened. Did you notice anything unusual last night? Perhaps you heard a strange noise, for example. Perhaps people talking? Perhaps the ship was absorbed in a wild tempest. Perhaps a steam engine exploded. What? Perhaps everyone on board would have noticed if that had happened. <laughs> Ms. Pavlova, is there anything you can tell us? I don't know. I'm sorry, but all I could think about last night was what I had done and whether they would find me. I didn't notice anything that was happening around me. Oh, I see. You've run away from your ballet company, haven't you? The Novavitch Ballet? Yes. I am traveling to Great Britain, and from there, I want to go to America. I will never dance again. I want to forget everything about the ballet. I will start a new life. Hmm, I wish to forget. A challenging proposition when you have that striking tiara as a reminder. But the tiara is mine. I need it to live. What? Do you mean that literally? What? <laughs> Ah. I have no money of my own. It's her phylactery, she's a lich. The Novavitch Valet gives us only a little food and water, and we must dance all over the world. Oof. I had to run away. I had no choice. If I stayed, it would have killed me. So you ran away to protect yourself? Yes. And the crew of the ship, they have all been kind to me. They let me come on board, and they said I could hide in this cabin. Hmm. So the crew knew. Hmm. If that is indeed the truth, Miss Pavlova, it creates a most intriguing conundrum. Yes, it does. 
What do you think about it, Mr. Naruhato? Me? Oh, well, yes. Of course. I think we should hear Miss Pavlova's explanation. To what conundrum, I'm not sure, but... Miss Pavlova, allow me to propose you a riddle. Alive without breath, as cold as death. Dot dot dot. <laughs> According to this newspaper, it was only yesterday that you absconded from the ballet. Now, that being the case, it must have been last night that you boarded this vessel. However, the SS Buria stopped by no port last night. Ah, that's it, of course. So how is it, pray, that you come to be aboard? That is a good question. Now that I think about it, the crewman outside the cabin acted very strangely when we mentioned that. It was just after we asked him about when the occupant of this cabin came aboard. That is not your business. Yes, you're right. He did seem to be hiding something. Silent treatment. Mm -hmm. Silent treatment. An angel descended from the heavens, bringing grace and beauty to the stage. Sorry, what was that? It is how the Russian newspapers described one of my performances. Uh... And that is how I came here too. I descended from the heavens. Because what? I am an angel. Okay. Considering English isn't your mother tongue, your description is very vivid. She was brought by helicopter if they exist? Mr. Sholmes once said, I never can resist the, a touch of the dramatic. It seems Miss Pavlova is the same. Yes. What? <laughs> a genius descended from the heavens, bringing grace and beauty to detection. Words once said about myself. A quote from a wonderfully extravagant advertisement for the adventures of Herlock Sholmes, in fact. Yes, yes, Mr. Showy. Anyway, it doesn't look like Miss Pavlova is going to tell us what really happened. But of course not. So the friend you mentioned is inside your traveling case, is that right? I don't think animals are allowed on board according to the rules of passage. Oh, please, don't tell. Don't tell any of the crew. If they found my precious... My precious! Then the Berlin Russians would bestir themselves in unison to throw you and your case overboard, no doubt. Ugh! Do, 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 do. So reassuring, Mr. Sholmes. Hmm. Well, what sort of pet is your friend? A little puppy? It is, isn't it? Maybe an adorable little rabbit? Mm -mm. Ha! You credit Russia as a land with small rabbits, do you? They have giant rabbits. Killer rabbits. Oh, don't they have small rabbits there, then? You may well ask. I have no idea. Huh. You two are miserable bunglers when it comes to understanding the nature of young ballerinas' friends. And you're a bungler when it comes to deductions. Isn't it obvious? It must be a chicken! Uh, uh, really? 
can't. Like, that's exactly it's a sad note, really. <laughs> Consider the benefits. A rousing leg of pole, daily fresh eggs. And when adversity strikes, it can satisfy the needs of sustenance. Jimmy Cricket. <laughs> so you'd eat your friends, I'll remember that. <laughs> mm -mm. my head into my well. death, give me a concussion. It would appear this friend's identity is a closely guarded secret not to be revealed. <laughs> <laughs> She obviously doesn't quite trust us yet. There's something I should like to show her, I think. Maybe she might be able to shed some light on it. Some evidence. What? Evidence. Okay, present. Look at this badge. Um, can I show you this? I'm actually a university student from the Empire of Japan, you see. That means nothing to me. Oh, why would it? Mr. Narahato, if you're determined to flaunt your Yume badge, at least choose a Japanese person who might recognize it. <laughs> Mrs. Sato, can I show you this? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. Uh, Ooh, I could show him Specter Hosanaga too. Oh crap! We have to do that right now. <laughs> um, okay. actually, I know what to show her. Let's see. Miss Pavlova, would you take a look at this? Apparently, that wasn't it. I don't know. I don't know anything. How about the journal? Mr. Narahato, you're frightening the poor girl. Oh, sorry. I wasn't trying to. I uh, think it is. I agree. Why? Why? This is the diary of my friend who passed away. He's died already. Yes, and he wrote in it because of the speckled band. Yes, and he wrote in it last night before he died. Something a little unusual. It reads, 1:23 a.m. I can hear a faint whistling sound. And then a few minutes later, 1.35 a.m., what looks like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? I don't understand. It's strange, isn't it? But the ventilator he mentions joins to this cabin, you see. It's up there on the wall. In other words, the cabin and the victim's cabin are connected together. Mm -hmm. Oh. Miss Pavlova. Has something occurred to you? <coughs> the speckled band the victim mentioned mean something to you? Or the whistling sound, perhaps? This is risky, okay. No. I don't know anything. Cleaning off my space bar when it when it skips the text. Oh. Show us your pet. Knock knock. Excuse me, Mr. Roylot. Oh. We're, we're back to <laughs> yes. Roylot. <laughs> wow, she's fast. Captain would like to speak to you. You must come to Captain's quarters at once, please. Alright, I will go now. What? You must leave, now. Oh no, it's fine, don't mind us. Yes, please don't worry yourself, Mr. Roylot. Get out! The passenger said, out. Or do you want me to throw you out? I apparently can't scream in Russian. Uh, it looks like we'll have to leave investigating this cabin until later. Yeah, Day two, perhaps? 
What a pity. Really have to focus to do And so we lost that. our chance. Having still not managed to investigate Miss Pavlova's cabin, we were unceremoniously chased out. That is to say, we were quite literally picked up and thrown into the passageway outside. Hmm. To be continued. Of course we are. Is there a part two to the investigation, or is that... Let's see. Or does it go straight to trial? Let's see. Save your current progress? Yes. Investigation part two. So in the next episode, we'll continue the investigation. Bye! Shatter! What? Excuse me, sir. Yes. Wait a sec. Hang on. Do you want that? Yes. What can I do? Uh... Oh what? my god. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that face, but it can't be. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like my content and you'd like to support me, have a look at my Patreon page, where you can get rewards like joining my Discord server, requesting my next LP, and even guest commentating an episode. Link is in the description down below.